I met John in Edinburgh. He covered one of my songs, a song called Is It Me? And um, we sang that song together on stage and it was just awesome. And the next day, I knew that we needed to do more stuff together. But I didn't just want us to be playing the occasional song together. I thought we should, you know, cement this thing and make it a historic document. There you go. Cool. John's songs are very sincere and kind of intelligently written songs. We live in a time where everything is ironic and no one wants to be sincere. And it's embarrassing to be sincere, and I don't understand that. It's easier to be detached, it's easier to be ironic. If somebody says something, it's easier to pull it apart rather than to question it, agree with it, or disprove it. It's easier just to be dismissive. I don't think there's anything wrong in actually meaning what you say and thinking there's some import to it. The charity that we've chosen is very much community-based a charity that helps refugees find work and it stops them becoming homeless. It gets them educated and learning English and I really 100% believe that that's incredibly important. And um, everyone's given of their time freely, there's no money to be recouped at all, so every single penny that's made from these goes directly to charity and it's also about locality, about community, about doing things where you live and making where you live a better place. I believe that we should be doing um, things like where you know where we're based because that's that's the easiest way to make small changes I mean I can't make decisions that the, the British government can make but I can make decisions in the community that I'm in you know, refugees coming to Scotland right now they need to be supported and we just uh, fight the oldest crimes through orders pass on down the line sorry I realised I gobbed all over everything to start off with, so apologies, but... <laughs> really enjoyed recording the songs. John asked me what song of his I thought would be appropriate, and it was my favourite song that he played, so I thought we could do a really great version of that. Do you want to try singing it? I'll yeah. just try and sing it. I think because both songs are songs of conviction and songs of protest in a sense, I think there was a degree of common ground in terms of how we were going to deliver them so it came together quite well. Barbie pop stars are footballers Waves I don't know about you But I want to feel alive Right now in the world, like, the, the refugee crisis is really bad. I feel powerless, and I think uh, most people in my generation will feel the same. So I really wanted to do something that was going to reflect my anger on that, but hopefully with a positive note. So this is what we've got Independent people Independent thought. So this is our law. If you thought it was okay, well, no, it's not. I think it's impossible to be a caring human at this point in time and not consider that something is wrong. The idea that the imaginary lines on maps somehow determine whether or not you should have access to just the ability to live or to live safely. And the fact that a lot of the conflict people are fleeing from, I don't think we as a country are entirely innocent in the creation of that conflict. So it seems to me to be achingly hypocritical to then say we're not going to be a part of the solution. So this is what we've got. My dad said things are gonna get worse. A long time before they get back. Thank you.